Hey guys, I am back with another video and today I'm going to be reviewing a primer and that primer is Youth Foria's Pre-Game Daily Protective Primer. If you are thinking about purchasing this product, watch to find out what you need to know before you buy. brand has been all over my Facebook and Instagram ads, but when I went to go look at the brand's website, this primer interested me a lot because my skin has not been the best. It has been getting really red, really irritated. I've been breaking out a lot more. I haven't changed any of my skincare products, so I'm not sure what is going on. I read about this primer and it's supposed to really help with like inflammation and redness on your skin, so that's why I decided to purchase this. I purchased this at Ulta and it was $38. Some of the claims of this product, it's an emollient formula that is supposed to hold makeup in place, stop moisture from escaping, which is like an insurance for your skincare. It is supposed to feel like you're wearing nothing at all. It's it's supposed to work for all different skin types. It is loaded with a lot of skincare actives. It can be worn alone, it can be worn under makeup, you can mix it with skin tint, and it is cruelty free and vegan. From looking at all of the reviews on Ulta, some of the pros. People said that I kept their makeup on all day. People who had acne, rosacea, redness said that it helped make their skin look better, a lot more healthy and glowing. It helped protect their skin from allergens. Some of the cons. The biggest con on this product is that it smells horrible. Now for me, I've said it before, smells don't really bother me as much, but we'll see how this one actually smells. People said that it's not good for oily skin and it also causes pilling of the skin. Here is the bottle. Very bright, pretty colors. Love the pink and purple and the green. Comes with 30 milliliters, so one floral ounce. The Hydro Grip comes with 1.52 floral ounces. The ELF comes in 0.81 one floral ounces. I do like primers that come like this with the pump, just because I feel like you can get every last drop out when you get to the end. I'm just going to put this on my hand. Before I smell it, it looks like this. It doesn't look like really clear like other primers do. It does look kind of like a moisturizer or some type of skincare. Okay, it does really smell. It smells really bad. Spread this on my hand. Yeah, so it feels more like a moisturizer. Oh my gosh, it really smells bad. And I'm usually okay with smell, but it smells like rotten, like something rotten. I don't know. Okay, well, I feel like the smell is now going away for me. Maybe it's just like an initial thing, but uh, it does smell pretty bad. <laughs> How am I going to do this review? Today, I'm going to review it under my makeup. And then tomorrow, I'm going to review it alone because it's supposed to help with the redness without putting any makeup on. Let's get started on applying the primer. Let me show you up close what my skin is looking like before we apply the primer. Pretty red and irritated, and I'm really like breaking out on my hairline, here on my chin, and just, kind of everywhere. Like my face is just really inflamed. I'm going to start with just one pump. Because it's more of a skincare type of primer, it spreads out a lot easier and one pump I feel is just enough for your whole skin. I could even put it down my neck here. Yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to be an immediate thing because I feel like my skin still looks the same. Sometimes when I look at my skin after editing, that's when I can really like more notice the changes. So let's just close up and then I can compare after I'm done filming to see if it actually helps with the redness. This is my face immediately after applying the primer. I'm not seeing any significant changes in my skin. I'm more used to the grippy type of primers that I'm just a little nervous how this is going to work on my oily skin and if it is going to make my makeup last long, but we'll see. I'm going to put on my foundation now. I'm going to be using e.l.f. Camo CC Cream today. Let me go in with 
my concealer and then I will give you guys my initial thoughts after just applying it, the foundation. I did do a little bit of setting powder where I put the concealer. That is all on. Here is what the base is looking like. Everything applied pretty good. I think it's just the feel of it for me. It just feels kind of heavy and it just feels like there's a lot on my skin. As far as the smell, I don't really smell it anymore. It truly was just like when you initially apply, when I initially start rubbing the product, that's when I can smell it the strongest and then it just dissipates. Let me go finish the rest of my makeup and then I will come back on camera. Just finished putting on the rest of my makeup and here is what my skin is looking like. I do notice a kind of healthy glow to my skin after the primer has been wearing a little bit longer. I think that all of my makeup applied pretty well. It doesn't feel cakey. It just feels like there is more on my skin. I'm liking it so far. I think it's pretty. Don't really know about the redness. Can't really tell because I did put foundation on so that covered up my redness as well. I am going to wear this throughout the day. I will do a four hour check in just to see how oily I'm getting. It's supposed to like make your skincare last longer. And so hopefully it makes my moisturizer last longer so that I don't get as oily throughout the day, but we will see. So I will see you guys in four hours. It has been four hours since I initially applied the primer. I am getting pretty oily in the T-zone area, especially on my cheeks. So I don't really know how I'm feeling about this so far. My face is just much more oily than when I use my go-to primers. But I'm going to wear it for four more hours and then I will do my final check-in and give you my final thoughts at the end of my night. So I will see you guys later. It has been nine hours since I applied the primer. I am extremely oily. Perimeters of my face aren't too bad. Like you can't really tell that they're super oily, but in the T-zone area, I am so much more oily than I am when I use my regular primers. After the four hour check-in, it just got more and more oily. My foundation is separating underneath my nose, on my chin. The other makeup is still pretty much on there. It just doesn't look good. I get why one of the reviews, one of the cons did say that it doesn't really work for oily skin because it's not really working for my skin. Let me give you my thoughts on using pregame daily protective primer underneath makeup. I wouldn't recommend it for oily skin. It just didn't make my makeup look good it just got me so oily tomorrow i will do the day two review without any foundation or makeup and i will also give you my overall final thoughts about pricing and all of that as well so i will see you guys tomorrow back for day two and i've already done my skincare all i have on my face i did my eyebrows and then i just put some eyeliner on we're going to try today with just a primer and see how it does on my skin. Today my skin is not as inflamed as it was yesterday. apply but it's dissipating again before I do a close-up and show my face I just want to give it some time to work and see if it actually does something with my skin right away so let me give it 10 minutes and then I will come back on camera and show you guys what it looks like then I will give you guys my overall thoughts on how this product worked under makeup and alone here's my skin after waiting about 10 minutes i see some subtle changes my skin looks a little bit more pore blurring and it does calm the redness a little bit very subtle i don't think it's a huge change it is the end of my night and it's been almost eight hours since i initially applied the primer by itself <laughs> I don't really see a huge difference in my skin from wearing the primer. 
I think maybe it's a little bit less oily. I didn't get any reactions from it, but I also didn't see a huge difference from using it. Let me give you guys my overall thoughts on Euphoria's pre-game daily protective primer. Let's start off with the price. It is $38, which is in line with a lot of the higher end primers. Like I believe the Hydra Grip is around that same price. I don't often buy like higher end brands in general. I try to do as much research as I can for higher end products in the hopes that it'll work on my skin and the Hydra Grip thankfully did but unfortunately this one didn't so this one would be just too pricey for me to purchase because it just didn't work for my skin. If it worked amazing on my skin then I would probably be okay with purchasing it at that price. The smell is very off-putting initially. If you are sensitive to smells Trust me, this smells really bad in the beginning. And for me, I don't know if it's just I get used to the smell or if it really just disappears, but it ended up not smelling on me. Like I can't smell it at all by the end of the day, but if you're very sensitive to the smells, I would not recommend this. Let's talk about it under makeup. For me, it didn't work. I have extremely oily skin and it just made my skin much more oily. Finally, let's talk about the primer alone. Like I said, for me, I just couldn't see a big difference in using the primer. Maybe it's helping like against allergens when I go out. So maybe it's helping in that way, but I just physically cannot see anything that it's doing. I will continue to use this on days where I don't wear makeup. And the reason I would still continue to use it is more because of the allergen thing. Thank you guys so much for watching my review on Youthphoria's pre-game daily protective primer. If you want to follow me on all of my other social media, I am at Jen Reviews on Instagram and on Facebook. If you're looking for a certain product that I have reviewed, I do separate my playlist by the brand. So all you have to do is click on that brand and you can see all the products that I've reviewed from them. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Do you think about what you're